Hey guys, so I've been slacking. I was doing good with uploads, you know, just keeping you guys updated on my crazy life. And I started to slack. Slack, but really I was still just figuring stuff out and getting my life together. Um so yeah. My son just has like trash in my backseat. Do you see that? Like water bottles and pop. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I just been like figuring stuff out, you know, basically trying to enjoy my free time. Um, trying to make sure that my next move is my best move, whether it's, you know, with my own business or if it's getting part time work or full time work. Um, I just left an interview. And I don't like I don't know these, these jobs are just seeming so like whatever um, you know nothing these jobs really don't have me excited you know like when you initially start working you have that excitement oh wow she just texted me um, you have kind of like that excitement um, about a job like oh my god I hope I get this job blah 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 I, the interviews I went on, I haven't felt that way about any of them. And I'm sorry, it's really shaky. Their roads are not the best right here. Um, but yeah, I haven't really had that feeling about any of the jobs that I've interviewed for. Um, pretty much because jobs these days aren't offering anything. And I have to say that's one thing. Like, when I become a business owner, I'm going to make sure like all the things that were not offered to me when I was employed to a company, I'm gonna make sure that I offer those things. Like, you have jobs that are um, hiring. Sorry. You have jobs that are hiring and they don't offer any sort of benefit at all. Sorry about that. So, yeah, so like, they offer zero benefits. They want to offer you this minimum pay. And it's like, wait, what? That doesn't even make sense. But then when you check, like, um, you know, the tasks that they want you to complete with the job, it's a freaking laundry list. How are you going to have a laundry list of items for me to complete in a day or what the job consists of in general, but you want to pay somebody $11, $12? I'm sorry, what? You want me to bust my ass to complete these tasks to better your company so that you can pay me $11, $12 an hour? No. No. Absolutely not. Or like one job I went to interview for, he's like, I don't offer benefits. Um, pay is $12 and then after training it goes up to $15. Like, why would, why won't you just leave it at 15? You know, that's how I look at it. Because obviously if you hired me, you, you see that I'm qualified for the job. So why not just start off at 15? Like, whatever. So I didn't take that job. He also was like a micromanager, literally like standing over hovering. I don't need that. Like, I'm glad that they invited me in for like the, um, kind of like a working interview type of thing and I'm glad he did that because I got to see you know how it is working in his establishment and it was no no bueno like I don't need you hovering over me obviously like I stated if you hired me or if you call me back for a second interview you see me as qualified so please don't hover over me I don't need you breathing down my neck like I got this, Captain. I got it. But yeah, I haven't had, you know, the feel-good sensation in me about any of the jobs that I've went on, uh, job interviews that I went on. So I still do think that that's God. That's my gut saying, you know what? Just start your business. Start your business, work out everything, do your business plan. And I've been doing that. I've been, you know, um, trying to create my business plan, 
trying to make sure my profits will be right my pricing is right and i'm not going to say what it is just yet um once i get everything um you know legally set up then i will disclose everything i want to be able to have something to show for and not just words um so yeah once i have everything like that put together then i will definitely go ahead and announce what it is um yeah i'm just gonna like i said i'll still look around because you know it's extra income i do have a child so you know i gotta take care of my baby so that extra income you know can be helpful but I'm not going to dedicate my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, multiple hours a day to a job. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I have some other plans up my sleeve as well in terms of leaving the state of Arizona. Um, yeah, I don't see Arizona as being beneficial to me um, whatsoever. So I'm working on that as well. So yeah, I got a lot of things going on that I'm trying to um, straighten out, figure out, get going. And I definitely will keep you guys, you know, updated on what the heck is going on in Monica's crazy life. Um, and I do want to say thank you. I got a comment from one of my supporters. Um, I appreciate you appreciating my transparency. Um, I, I honestly, I don't know what other way to be. I feel like there's enough fake and phony going around. Like we definitely need some real and I'm here to get the real, you know, I'm a real person going through real things and I'm not just going to be on YouTube vlogging about the glitz, the glamour, and the high. Like, no, there's lows in life. And hopefully later on, it doesn't come to bite me in the ass. Like me saying what I'm saying, you know, it's helpful to someone and it doesn't come and, you know, like I said, bite me in the ass later um, because people just have their way of doing that. So hopefully that doesn't happen to me. You know what, I take that back. It's not going to happen to me. We're gonna speak that into existence. It's not going to happen to me. I'm gonna be a-okay. My transparency is gonna to continue to be appreciated and I will continue to be transparent and we're gonna be good. Um, so I'm actually headed to Starbucks to upload. Y'all know that's my upload place. So I'm headed to Starbucks to upload because I do have a video that I recorded a few days ago. Um, and I'm also gonna record another video separate from this so I should have three uploads. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get back on track. No, Monica, be positive. You're going, I'm going to get back on track. Now I'm gonna try, I'm going to get back on track. I got this, I'm gonna get back on track with the uploading and be consistent and yeah. <sighs> so, gosh, my life. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to hold it together. God got me. God got me. So, I just left from an interview at, at Starbucks, not for Starbucks. Um, that's just where the lady wanted to meet. Um, very nice lady. I can definitely um, see myself working for her or her husband. Um, her husband's a chiropractor and she's... Uh, um, she does skincare, which I'm like, oh, girl, he was talking. I was like, girl, just, I just got an AHA peel and I did this and that and that. We were, you know, chatting it up. So um, I really liked her. Um, I love that she's helping out her husband, you know, fill a position and they're proactive. They seem like they can be family. Um, she bought your girl some Starbucks. I got a small one, you know, I ain't going, I'm not that person that's like, I'm gonna go big or go home. Like, no, it's, you know, a courtesy. I'll just go ahead and get a small one. So I got an iced chai tea latte. It's actually my second chai tea latte for the day. Earlier, I literally have my cup right here that I just finished. I have the hot chai tea latte. Um, so this is my second chai tea latte for the day. First one was hot, this one's iced. This thing is all over the place. Um, 
so yeah she bought me starbucks she's like i really like you she had literally she's like i have a binder of um resume she's like you post the ad and you know it's just like bing, 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 which makes sense um she said she really liked me i really liked her only thing that got me is their hours 10 to 7 and I really don't I don't want to and also kind of can't work past 5 and it's kind of like for 2 hours I got nothing to do like you know like out there playing I sure past my son's school <laughs> I didn't see him but I know they're out there um but yeah it's like nice people or nice person I only met the wife oh oh skips me um yeah very nice just the hours I can't work with and I and I said it like oh yeah no problem which I should not have so when she calls me, if like, if they offer me the position with her, um, if they offer me the position with her husband or say, you know, we want you to come in, blah, blah, I'm just going to let her know at that time, like, hey, you know, I did talk to, whoa, where are those cars coming from? Like, you know, I did talk to my mom and, you know, she said she, you know, won't be able to pick him up every day, you know, from school or whatever. Like... And she did also say that her front desk person is leaving and it's part time. So she's like, you know, if it doesn't work out with my husband and maybe I can snag you. I'm like, shit, okay. You know, so who knows? Um, it could work out either way for me. Um, I will be honest when she calls me and be like, hey, you know, I just talked to my mom and well, honest, but not honest. <laughs> um, and just be like, yeah, the seven o'clock actually isn't going to work. Um, you know, maybe they can have, I don't, I don't know. <sighs> I just, that's cause she's really nice. She bought me coffee, you know, <laughs> seemed like a very, very nice lady. She has kids as well. Um, so, I mean, we'll see, but this was actually the first interview that I went on that I actually felt like myself. And I was able to actually have a conversation and I wasn't nervous. Only thing that did bother me, oh my God, is that she had on sunglasses. She had like the aviator sunglasses and you know that lens. Like I can see myself, so I feel stupid like talking to her and I'm like looking at myself, even though I like looking at myself because you know, <laughs> I'm cute and all. But it was just like weird. Like I'm like wanna talk to her and look at her in her eyes, but looking at her in her eyes, I don't know if she's looking at me or looking somewhere else and I'm looking at myself. I was just like, ugh. That's the only part I didn't like. But other than that, it was nice. When we got in Starbucks, she took her glasses off and you know, I was able to see her face and everything. And we had good, you know, side conversation as well. Um so yeah. that went well i just heard someone's music and i felt like they were like sitting next to me um but yeah that went well um i'm actually gonna go to another starbucks near my son's school because it's not time to pick him up yet and i want to go all the way back home and then come all the way back here so i'm gonna go sit in a starbucks that's near his school and i think i brought my I didn't bring my notebook. Well, whatever. Do some research for my business that I want to start. Um, I edited a video. And I'm going to put that up as well. Um, even though I just posted one. Matter of fact, no, I'm not. I lied. I'll put that up tomorrow. I'm just going to chill and do some research. And enjoy the rest of my day. So, I hope you guys, what are y'all doing? Literally, people cannot drive here. Just because you put on your turn signal doesn't mean jump in front of someone. You're signaling to them that you need to get over. Not put it on and jump in front of them. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. 
and i will catch you guys in my next video